Event one is going to test the fitness of the team, meaning to say, how good is the engine in the, each individual athlete? That's the main test for event one. So for the first qualifier, it's nothing technical. It's just a simple weightlifting movement. It's a gymnastic movement. It's a good test of the team's fitness because the rep skins are small, the weight is manageable. You've been crossfitting three months, six months. You know, these are movements that you can easily manage and perform them. Now, now these movements are complementary, uh, meaning to say they, they, they do not overtax or, or fatigue the same muscle group. Uh, they are multi-joint, and we keep the rep scheme small so, so that they can, they can do them unbroken and, and, and perform in teams of three. So think about it, one guy does the work, while his other two partners are doing, he's resting. So the work-rest ratio is one is to two. Let me explain to you the, and I'm by no means a bio, uh, a biochemist, but this, was, this is more or less the, a 20,000 foot view of what happens in the, in the energy transfer in the body. So ATP is the, 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 the energy uh, that is required for the muscles to do work. Okay, so think of this like a, like a, like a blood line. Like imagine you play a, a fighting game, like, like Street Fighter. Every time you get punched, the blood gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So more or less in that same concept, think of ATP like that. So partner one does seven thrusters, seven burpees, boom, job's done. And while he's resting, he's recharging. The ATP is recharging. And then he recharged just enough to go hard again. And recharge hard in, uh, enough to go hard again. Now that is what makes it so tough. Like, ah, seven thrusters, seven burpees, I got this. And if you think about it, at the end of 15 minutes, uh, on the average, most teams, individual, would have completed seven rounds at least. So seven bison, that's 49 thrusters and 49 burpees. These are loads that move a long distance very quickly. These are movements that are not very technical that you can perform very quickly. Now that is why I make it, that's what makes it hurt so bad. Now the thrusters, uh, to be efficient at thruster, so in most, if not all, functional movement, we want to see that relay of contraction from core extremity. So guys who press early in the thrusters, man, I tell you, their triceps, their shoulders going to burn. You want to stay efficient at thruster, use the legs first. Make sure you pop the bar off the shoulders as compared to trying to press them early before your hip any extent. Just a cool tip for you. The, you don't have to be a highly skilled athlete to show efficiency in the thruster. You know what, just, just think back, like, how would you throw a ball? How would you strike a bat, throw a punch? We, we wind up the hip, and then torso rotation, then the shoulder, and then the fastest moving but the weakest arm. So think of that, that relay of contraction, that applies to, to most, if not all, functional movement. Thrusters, clean and jerk, snatch, kettlebell swing, war ball using all the big guys to do the job first, then the small guys take over. Way more efficient. And you don't, you don't need to be a highly skilled athlete to, to learn and, and demonstrate such concept. Burpee, same. The burpee is another opportunity for, for the athletes to demonstrate midline stabilization. So if you flop down, where your midline is disengaged, does not provide a strong, stable platform for you to transfer power from core extremity. Try it. The burpee, try keeping this braced, Body move down as one unit, comes up as one unit in the burpee, and then staying low and hopping over, I tell you, be way more efficient in that sense. It's a good test of the team's fitness.